good afternoon friends we are with the second video on delta robots so in last video which was basics of delta robot we learned that by giving motor or a moment to three links we can pick and place or in 3d we can move the resultant point f so if you are watching this video first time on this channel do refer last video on delta robots basics so here we have defined a 2d sketch which will compel the robot to trace so we can change this shape according to our interests so you can see the resultant of three links is giving us a point which is traced by delta robot so if you start the video you exactly get how the links compress or comes together and goes far away so this is how the resultant and if we see by axis we get to know that point a is fixed and this is how the 2d sketch is traced by delta robots so this sketch can help us to know the limits where the resultant point f of delta robots can reach like if we increase the value of d and e we get to know that the link does not follow f at some point near d that means this point is logically not possible to be traced by delta robot uh, with the configuration of this length which is 800 and g which is 400 so now here by this we can form any zigzag shape which the robot has to follow so this helps us out to basically clear the idea of delta robots so this is all about the 2d sketch of delta robots how it follows and in industry if i have a point b where we need to pick some object and move to right and follow this curve and keep it on m what are the steps it will take can be shown by this robot so this is the practical use of delta robots and stay tuned to this channel and subscribe if you like the video and next i will be making a video where the 3d sketch will be drawn by delta robot so if you like this channel do subscribe and like the video any comments or suggestions do comment thank you